As stated in a previous video, we have a old school overhead projector. Uh, we use this again for the templates. Uh, use these, the transparencies to shine on the uh, whatever objects like the dresser that we have right here. That's how we did all this stuff. We have another dresser in the other room and that's how we did multiple other items in our house. Quick, easy way to do it. They're cheap. You can find them on eBay for roughly 25 bucks. That's what I think was what I paid for this one. But this is how we will uh, get the light onto that. So, go ahead. Is that where you want it? Mm -hmm. uh, hang on. Let me move it over a little bit. That way it's not right against that. Oh yeah, I had to move the board over. Yeah. So I'll cut around the knot. So we're trying to keep all the knots in here. We like the the rustic kind of look. So we're trying to trace it where the it's not right in the way of that knot. We don't lose any of the rustic look. And again, these lines are a fine tip marker on the transparency and it shows up really large on here. So any discrepancies or wavering of the the line itself might not show up on the discrepancy or the transparency where it will show up very, very easily on this stuff. So you gotta be aware of that. And yeah, correct it as you go. Yeah, correct as you go. You gotta be wary of where your arm is throwing a shadow. Oh, it's not that, it's my pen slipped. Oh. I'm drawing on grain of wood. Is it the follows the thing? grain. Yeah, the, the pencil follows the grain with it a lot of times. Yeah. So you gotta tend to pull it. <laughs> you gotta do it very lightly. You can't do it very heavily because it will follow all the grain of the wood. The shadow won't, or the difference won't be that noticeable. I like the mask we did where it was like considerably noticeable difference between one side and the other. Yeah. I think we gotta do another one of them too. Oh, it's easy. Just do half and then flip it over. So we are putting two turtles on here. We're doing one up top where she is and we're doing one down here a smaller one on this basically we're just going to use the same transparency flip it over and then shrink it down you're done yeah okay, okay time to shrink her down huh you didn't turn it off did you no i just screwed it in the way a little bit Get it in focus. There you go. I can trace it right there. Because he's that bottom half is gonna be out of focus. That'll work. Right there? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can they see? Can you guys see? Yeah. Pretty close. It's really bright right there, but they kinda get a, a picture of it. You can yeah. see it when you're done. So So with the overhead projector, um it's gonna 
get fuzzy the closer you get to it. That's to be expected. So just do your best to follow the line. <clears throat> And how we have it sitting, it's towards the bottom of the, the projector itself. So the brightest part is up on the top. We don't want to lift the wood up or anything like that, which we've done before. It's just, this isn't that fine of a drawing. You have to do it. You have to make sure it's uh, perfect, so. Yeah, all this will get cut, so. If we need to correct it, we'll just correct it at the cutting phase. what you know you're gonna have a knot right there that you're gonna have to probably cut through. That's fine. I'll cut through the edge of it. Okay. I just didn't know how it's gonna react to your blade. Oh. Damn it. Darn it. <laughs> um yeah I can actually move that down a little bit and kinda go around it. as bad as working underneath the dash of a car. You gotta like crane your neck. <clears throat> If you hear a dog crying, that's our dog. Yeah, he's, we kicked him out for a period yeah, of time. Yeah, because he kept getting in the light. <laughs> it's okay. Just relax. Oh, I'm fine. Right. I'm just letting him know. Yeah, we can speed up through some of this stuff anyways. Always double check before you turn it off. Well, we can turn it off and see, and as long as I don't move it, it'll be good. That's what I'm saying, because anytime I've done those, I've always lost my place on those. Yeah, so it's all good. Yeah, it's not all on there. Okay. So, next stage is cutting it. Now, Ali, as you can see, might not be able to see. She did it really light. So, this right here, I don't know if you can see it. Now, you really did it light. It's hard to catch up on this. Here, pick up on this. So, the lines, if you can see it, you probably can. I just can't see it on the, the video itself. Um, a real light. We can actually cut around all this stuff. Uh, this will actually be the whole... Same with this, and basically just stain it, make sure it's all nice and clean, and sand on the edge, and uh, you'll see the next stage here in a little bit later. So.
so this right here is another version of the turtles we just did. The only thing with this is it has lights behind it. Now we do have a ledge light on here. It's plugged into actually plugs back there is actually where they're all plugged into. But uh, go ahead and turn the turn the other one off. Turn just the shark on. Here's what it looks like just the shark. So this is kind of our night light before we actually go to bed. Uh, this will stay on for a little bit until we get in the bed and then it'll shut off automatically. So, and the way we do that is on this control panel right here. Uh, see if you can see it. Turn it on a little bit. There we go, turn that on. So this is our control panel for our smart homes. Uh, we can turn on and off the hammerhead, which we have turned off, turn it back on. Right there, we have the ledge, which you saw before. It goes all the way across. So everything's controlled by here, it's through timers. Again, the main thing is that right there is has LED lights behind it all the way around. We encased both sides, which I'll show you on the turtle, uh, for how we ended up lighting it in and not having the light go out either side. Like that right there. That is all just inside the shark. Uh, nothing on the outsides, at least not much. So, here you go. And basically the same technique we used for the turtles, just a different version of the same thing we just did. So, uh, hope you like it. So there we go, finished product. Uh, now there is no lights behind here and I showed you on the other thing what we ended up doing and what I'll tell you is on the sides here between the top and the bottom we just filled this in with another piece of one by two or whatever we used on the top and the bottom to encase the whole back side and along this edge right here all the way around the shark we did a uh, LED light, which we use Philips Hues. We can change the colors between millions of colors, it seems like. Uh, we just do daylight, so it gives it a nice bright color. Uh, put the hangers in here. It's the easiest way to see it. Now the hangers we have are these right here. They're flat. They don't stick out too much. And these are the only ones we could find, really, that were pretty much what we use everywhere else in the house. Uh, put them there, put them on top, measured where we wanted, made sure it was high enough off the board and centered in the wall. Uh, maybe next technique or next time we hang something on the wall, we will show you how we do that. It's kind of a neat trick. Uh, didn't even think about doing that before then. So, hope you like it. Like again, uh, it does show the back of the wall. This is what we wanted and our dog's barking in the background. So there you go.